Fully vaccinated teachers and students can skip the masks, so says brand new CDC guidance, but they also suggest flexibility for local school districts to make their own calls. And Milwaukee Public Schools will still require them. Jason Calvey joins us live from Bradley Tech on the near south side. Hey, Derica, yeah, those MPS students are still going to want to keep those masks. The school building will still have the signs up that say masks are required. An MPS spokesman says because the CDC is giving local districts flexibility, they're still going to require those masks. How are you to keep each child safe? To mask or not to mask? That's the question erupting in the spring at many school board meetings. I am here begging that we continue to require masks in the school setting. Now, new CDC guidance says students and teachers who are fully vaccinated can go maskless inside the school building. However, it, it can be difficult for a school to either um, document the vaccination status of their students, uh, teachers and staff. And so in that situation, they might decide to do universal policies. So they might require everybody to mask. There are local circumstances when they may need to change. If there is an outbreak in a school, um, everyone will put their masks back on. That would be the first thing that would make sense. Milwaukee teacher Alondra Garcia teaches second grade here at Allen Field Elementary and says there's pros and cons to teachers going maskless. The interaction isn't the same. They're able, they're not able to smile at each other the way they want to. That interpersonal relationship building aspect is so important in middle school and high school and they wouldn't be able to get that um, with a mask, right? But at the same time, since I know I can be a carrier, there's a high chance I could still give it to the young folks. The CDC says COVID-19 vaccines reduce the risk of spreading the virus. The new guidance adds that masks should be worn by students and staff who are not fully vaccinated. I think what we can derive from our surveillance is that there have been school-based outbreaks. So we know transmission has occurred in school settings. And the CDC is still recommending that students stay three feet apart from each other, unless those students are fully vaccinated. Reporting on the near south side, Jason Calvey, Fox 6 News. Jason, thank you.